Hello Rutbags, it's Jade, welcome to Lens Islands. I'm about to show you a demo that's going live tomorrow the 16th of June. I was given a bit of earlier access by the developers Flow Studios, so shout out to them. And you know what, it's pretty cool. You guys should know by now, I love supporting smaller games as well, indie games and unique ones. And this is a survival experience, top down, with some interesting controls that I'm maybe not as used to, so forgive me as I play for it. But it's got some cool features, there's base building, there's lots of gathering, there's dungeon crawling, and it is quite tough as well. So. Like it if you enjoy it, let's go. All right, so we've got a little character creation here. I am using the right stick for controller. Let's switch to mouse. Hopefully it has got controller support, but it won't be the end of the world if it doesn't. I'm sure some of that stuff just takes a bit of time. Okay, some, some varied little goings on with clothes and stuff. Welcome to Lens Island Demo. To give you a preview of what it's like to play Lens Island, there's a lot to do and explore in the demo. Probably include a little too much to be honest. That being said, there's a lot of features and content we are saving for release. There'll be crafting, more building, more farming, more enemies, more exploration, chatting to villagers, performing quests, the list goes on. All the areas within the demo are mini levels made for the demo and not the final levels. Keep in mind there may be bugs. All the music in is Lens Island is made by us. Good stuffs. Good stuffs. Okay. Okay, so it does have a partial controller support. It's a bit weird. I'm used to playing with controllers. I can play keyboard and mouse. But yeah, for this type of game, it's definitely, definitely new for me. It's going to take me a bit while to get used to it. But we'll give this one a shot. We'll give it a go. Interesting. Just chopping some trees down with chisel. And I'm going to actually chop this tree off. Oh, can I die from hitting up fall under a tree? No, well, it does break on your head though. So that's pretty cool. Uh, do we just pick this up like that? Like, go over it? Yeah, there we go. So we're picking up woods. Okay, simple enough. Okay, right. Let's just walk around. Um, obviously, we've got like some resources as well. Um, I didn't really go over this side maybe that it's a different starting point every time you start do you think for this demo okay there's no like buildings or tutorial level it's just simply get on board go go and get some resources good old fashioned stuff going on here that's it we'll get some stone oh there you go so it's got an active reload thing pretty much you get more resources or quicker if you hit it if you time it right so you just hold it you tap it once keep tapping again as soon as you hear that little you get a bit more from it. That's good. Obviously, it might take a bit of a while to master. Okay, what did we get there? A bunch of stone. Okay, so we've got a bit of wood, a bit of stone. Oh, oh, there's a fire in a cave. Let's go down here. Let's go down here. But yeah, I can see this game working really well with a controller. Like, I feel like this is perfect for a controller. Is this just all stone? Now, we don't actually get any of the resource to the last minute, which is kind of a shame. What's that? We've got some other material there. Can we pick up any of this stuff? No, I don't think there's anything to pick up there. Let's take a look in our tab. It's nice and simple. Wood, fibres, clay, glass, sapphire, light stone, stone, limestone, coal, iron shards, salvage metal, and dark essence. Ooh, then we've got food and farming, blueberries, marigolds, pumpkins, and lavender. And then we've got building. It just needs a mixture of all three of the materials that we've just harvested. Wood, stone and light stone. Okay, and just normal wood for doors. Yeah, that's alright. Some nice little pieces there. Oh, man, I'm, I ain't gonna lie, I'm pretty excited about this. Got different crop plots to grow stuff. And then these are weapon racks, refinery, pants, fireplaces and stuffs. Okay, that's cool. Comfy chairs, yep. Yeah. Nice decorative items. Man, okay, this is a good start. I mean, yeah, this is cool. And obviously... It's got the edit mode, so you could then, what, go in here? So you put, like, a base down, maybe? So if I was... Let's just let's just craft one up. Let's give it a go. It's going to take me about an hour to work out how to do this. So press F on it, and then, yeah, then we do it like that. Or maybe I just haven't got enough resources. There we go. And then... That, I guess, is choosing like what we're going to go on the next level. Foundation, get rid of it and stuff. And you can upgrade it over time as well. Okay, to two different types. That's pretty cool. Again, I like that. I like that. I like that. I like that. Okay. All right. All right. Let's get off that. Let's get off it. Okay, let's go and check out this scary cave. Now, maybe not a good idea to be coming through here unless I had actual a weapon. I'm going to presume like an axe might be a weapon enough. I've oh, got a resource. What is this one? Okay, let's get it. 
So just some shards and some more of that light rock and stuff. Okay, so we've got to go over it. Be nice to be a bit more forgiving if it adds more, um, you know, stuff going on with... Oh, it's pretty dark. I don't necessarily want to go around exploring all this until I maybe get a light source. Okay, let me see what's going on here as well. Okay, so nothing really here. I might have to actually go and put a, um, a crafting bench down. I'm probably coming in here just a wee bit too early. Although, there is a bit of light. Okay, we've got some scrap. That's good, I presume. Might as well get the rest of these barrels. Okay, oh, am I heavy? No, for a minute now I thought it was heavy. And you can jump up and down as well. Okay, it's not too bad. It's not too bad. Oh! Oh! Oh my god! Oh! Oh, that is not an effective weapon at all. Ah! Switch over, switch over, switch over. Switch over, there we go. Yeah, slightly better. Only slightly better. Oh, my health is going down here. Oh, it's a weird alien-like little creature. Come on. Hey, I did it, I did it, I did it though. Okay. That's good. Okay, right. I, if I can't activate anything here, or do anything, maybe maybe now's not the time. No, probably not. Okay, if I see one more of them creatures, I'm just going to leg it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because it did take like half my health. It ain't, it ain't worth dying for. And I presume... Oh my god. Oh, it reminds me of like the Stranger Things uh, enemies. It's pretty It's pretty terrifying. I'm not going to lie. Let's get up, let's get up, let's get up. Ooh, okay. So yeah, we got to be... Uh... Yeah, we got to go in there prepared, basically. Okay, so we've got a bit of fibre there as well. And there's a barrel in the water here. Can we swim? I mean, you can't... You've got to use a pickaxe for barrels. No, no, maybe not. I just wasn't close enough. Okay, some more. Yeah, you can swim as well. Doesn't seem to be taking up any stamina or anything. So that's pretty cool. Can you go and explore other islands? Oh, you can. Oh, look. Got a little, like, tropical little island over here. What? Oh, it's a sword. Hello. Yeah, yeah, I'll take that. Oh, there we go. It's got abilities to it and everything. Drag item to equip. Okay. So there we go. Anything else here? And we've got, got glass. Okay, it's cool. This is cool, 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 cool. Okay, well, well now, now we can go back and I'll just go and take out that dude. I mean, may, maybe I shouldn't be going in there straight off. Let's see if I can make a crafting bench. Now I've got some of them resources. So let's see what's going on here. Yes, I've got. I see the resources I've got. Thank you very much. Okay, it's been it's been weird. Okay, it's got a few like abilities there. It's pretty cool. So yeah, I can switch my axe. I can switch it. And you know what? He has he has got proper control support. It's just unusual thing. But yeah, that's that's not too bad. So you can use the the swords to uh, basically get some um, fiber and stuff. And it's got various different little modes. Could even use the stick by looks things. Yeah, yeah, so you can use the, the left stick to attack. Yeah, it's a very weird control system. I honestly don't think they've actually implemented this on purpose. It's just the way it's popped out. But I like that. Quick's changing around. Okay, there we go. Alright, let's get night time. I guess maybe we should try and go back to that and see if I can build something. Oh no, here we go, here we go, here we go. Info. Yes, I knew, I felt like there had to be something here. I didn't think this was one of them games that's just going to really chuck you in at the deep end, as it were. Um, let's take a look at this. Run to lens iron demo. Proc critical hits time by your next tap with a circle mark on your weapon. Remember to save your game at bed before going in dangerous ventures. Use the pantry to the right to equip your food items. Okay. Okay, so is this the pantry? Ah, okay. Pantry's empty. Use pantry to empty and store your food items. Right, gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha. Once I get some food items, yeah? Oh, I've got... Okay, so I can get a... Make a can. This is stuff I can make if I've got enough resources. Oh, I want a torch. I need 10 more fibres. Okay. Oh, it's getting really dark pretty quick as well. 
Um, is that a better axe than I've got? No, it's the same axe. Okay, so I guess it's just in case you lose or you die. Let's talk to my mate here. Hello? Alright, it doesn't want to talk to me. Um, oh, I've got loads of stuff. Angler Dangler. Okay. So lots of weapons and stuff to craft. Buy for, oh, so you can buy stuff once you get some golden stuffs. Sell for 60, buy for 80. Right, okay. So you buy the limestone, the light stone. The limestone? Oh, there's different weapons here as well. Okay, different battle axes. That's pretty cool. Lots of different weapons. Any ranged weapons? Uh, you can buy some more limestone for gold too. Oh, I kind of want to... Um, can I buy some blueberries? No, I haven't got any gold at all. So am I meant to get gold? Well, I guess maybe we just got to go and explore that cavern again. If I can't actually make like a, a torch or whatever. But I presume so. I presume I've just not done something. Let's go back over to my little foundation that I had. I oh, was a bit of clay there as well. You know what? I'm going to get this clay. Oh, you can use uh, other weapons to get it, but we don't want to do that, do we? No, we don't. It's a bit hit and miss. I'm not a big fan of the critical uh, chance, to be honest. It feels like this is a cosy game. So the last thing you want in a cosy game is to be hitting twice on something. You know, it can get a bit monotonous hitting something. And I guess it just means that you've got to pay attention. But a lot of these games where you're going to be spending a lot of time re grafting resources, I don't really want to be thinking about getting the perfect timed strike. It has to be said. Especially as it seems so hit and miss. Small small little gripe, but you know, I want to give feedback to the dev. Uh, this whole point. Okay. It's been just really weird. Right, I can click on them. There we go. Okay, there we go, there we go. Tool chest, weapon rack, refinery, pantry. So you can make your own pantries and stuff. Right, okay. So still haven't got enough resources for any of this stuff, really. Okay, and we've just got to try and find some gold. Okay, so I, I guess we have just got to go in that, that, that cave and see if we can find some more gold and stuff. Or, or some food. Would be good too. Alright, let's go. I don't feel scared now. Now I've got a sword. Oh, I've got a glow, glow chisel now as well. See, that's new. Is it a change every time you pop into one of these things then? I feel like it should reward you as well for getting them perfect swipes by like increasing every single time. But it doesn't. It just gives you the max of nine. There we go. Okay. Okay, right, let's make sure I've got the weapon this time. Yeah, I'm ready for you, mate. I'm ready for you. Oh, yes. Now we're talking. Oh, it's so much better with a sword. So much better. I don't know what we're doing here with this. Okay, let's just carry on going further then. Right, I'm going to try to use someone with specials. Oh, my... Rip. Oh no, okay. Right, do not fall off the edge. I wasn't paying attention. I was looking at the things. Ah! Oh, okay, mate. I'm, I'm close to death here. Oh, I like it. I like the effects. Nice. Oh, I cannot see. I can't craft a torch. There's no way to craft a torch. I can't buy a torch yet. I presume this isn't going to just drop out. Is there a bed? Oh my god, where am I going? Oh my god, there's like stairs. Obviously, oh no, this is a bad deed because, yeah, I'm going to not be able to see anything. Ah! No, up you get. Come on. No. Right, just, just let me out of it. There we go. Alright, we'll carry on, we'll carry on. But yeah, this is cool. I like I like the atmosphere. Once I work out how to actually get a torch and stuff, this is gonna be interesting. 
I still got to repair it with wood and fibre before you get across the bridge. Right, okay, okay. 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 Oh no! Shit! Shit! I'm dead. I'm brown bread. And that is a first look at Lens Island. I really like this. It's got some issues, little tweaks needed, but it's actually pretty polished. And by sounds of it, this demo is only a small slice and there's much more to it. Love the idea of that building mechanic once I actually get enough resources. Bit punishing, but again, that's not necessarily a bad thing. You need these games to be a little bit more, you know, interesting and having it as a roguelike or sort of slightly fact you're going to lose items and stuff. And I'm sure there's ways that I can mitigate that, like dumping my items in chests and stuff. I just got to get to that point. So, yeah, I quite like it. It's a like challenge. And yeah, apart from me getting used to the controls, which I'm not used to, um, I reckon I'm going to do another video. So, expect to see another one very, very soon, guys. Go and check this out. As I said, free demo as part of the game Summerfest starting on the 16th of June. Go and show this developer some support for a cool little windy game.